Welcome to Lecture Online. Here we have an example of how to find the Laplace transform of a periodic function, a real periodic function. We're still kind of trying to keep it somewhat general by saying that the height of impulses is equal to k, some constant, and that the period of the pulse is equal to 2a. So the pulse width is a and the period is 2a. Pulse width is a and then the, the rest is a and so forth. So you can see that the distance between pulses is a and the pulse width of each is a as well. Again, keep in mind that f of t plus p must of course equal to f of t. That's what we mean by periodic function. We've drawn the general equation on the board. We know that the Laplace transform when f of t is a periodic function is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus e to the minus sp, where p is the period, the length of the period in time, and so the general equation says we integrate from 0 to the end of the period of e to the minus st f of t dt. Notice here we did not use the dummy variable because in the limits we don't have a time. We just have p, the constant p. Now for this particular, uh, for this particular function, periodic function, what is this going to look like? So the Laplace transform of this particular function is going to be equal to 1 divided by 1 minus e to the minus s times p. Now the period is 2a, so we multiply this times 2a. That's kind of small, it make it a little bit bigger. a, there we go. And times the integral from 0 to, but notice that we only need to integrate to the end of the pulse, not to the beginning of the new pulse, because there's nothing going on in between here. So in this case, the limits are going to be from 0 to a, not from 0 to 2a, of e to the minus s times t, times the function of t. Now, of course, this is just a function, this is just a single period, and that will be the height of that function, or the height of that pulse, which is equal to k, times dt. Now, of course, k is a constant, so that can come outside the integral sign. And when we integrate e to the minus st, we end up with a, a minus s in the denominator because we have to have the proper differential. So this becomes equal to k because we pull out a k. And then we have a minus s here in the denominator times 1 minus e to the minus 2as. That's this right here. So the minus s comes out when we integrate it, and we have e to the minus st evaluated from 0 to a. When we plug in the limits, we get this is equal to k divided by minus s times 1 minus e to the minus 2as times, when we plug in the upper limit, we get e to the minus as, and we plug in the lower limit, e to the 0 is equal to 1. Now, let's see here, we can take this negative sign and cause this to flip over, so we have it in the same format, so this becomes equal to k over s times, in the numerator we end up with 1 minus e to the minus a s, and in the denominator we get 1 minus e to the minus 2 a s. And this here is the Laplace transform of that particular periodic function. Now notice, k is simply the height of the pulses, so that can change depending upon k, and a is the width of the pulse, 2a is the period of the function. And that's the result, that's the Laplace transform for this particular example, and that's how it's done.